had a good night. This guy was like really, really cute. My hair, look at my hair. I cut my hair on my own and that's why it looks like that. I gotta wear a hat. Anyways, um, this guy was, he was really cute and he's got his shit together. He's got an apartment. He seems like a good person. I don't know him on a deep level, but he seems like a good person. We had a good time and, um, yeah, got to stay the night with him and took a shower and stuff and I think that I was probably annoying him because I get really awkward especially like the first time meeting somebody and so I was trying to get him to talk about himself or like just tell me stuff about himself and it was just this really short conversations of like I would ask him a question and then he would just answer it and it wasn't a yes or no question. It was questions that he could have expanded on and, like, talked about more. Like, I noticed he had a lot of um, fishing or, like, ocean theme type stuff. He had, like, a map of a lake on his wall and stuff. So I asked him, I was like, oh, are you a fisherman? And he's like, I used to be. Like, I mean, I get that, that yeah, that is a yes or no question. But, like, most people would be like, oh, yeah, I go fishing every weekend. Or I go fishing at this place. Or... Um, I have a boat, or I used to have a boat, and now I don't, or I, you know, but he's just like, I used to be, and I'm just like, okay, and then, um, I'll try to ask him other questions, too, that were more open-ended, and he just, I don't know, he was just like, the shortest answer he could give me, he would, and then, but anyways, um, it was a good time, and I felt awkward, I felt like, Maybe he doesn't like me because I probably made him feel really weird. Like, just asking him just a shit ton of random questions. And then, um... Also, I was, like, playing on my phone and I had Grinder open. And I seen he was looking at my phone and he was, like, making this face of, like... Like, because he's have a lot of people talking to me on there. And so I just, like, showed it to him and I was, like... Because we actually had been talking about it before that like I forgot what we had talked about because I talked to so many people on there I never remember which conversations I've had with which people and I was hoping he would say oh yeah we talked about such and such you know we talked about your transition or we talked about that you know you're homeless or we talked about that you do DoorDash or we talked about um whatever you know but he never told me what it is that we talked about he's just like oh yeah we've talked a couple of times on there and I'm like cool anyway so he seen my phone and uh he was looking at it like that and I was like oh do you want to look at that and he was like no why are you showing me that and I was just like okay because um I said earlier that I never remember like what I had said and I was like I don't even know where your profile is and I started scrolling through all the profiles and he's just like yeah I'm like okay <laughs> and then um we went to sleep at like 1 in the morning and he had to get up at like 6 to go to work. Me personally, I felt super rested because I got to sleep in a bed. But I imagine he was like not as rested because I was sharing the bed with him and he went to bed really late. So I feel a little bit bad about that. But it was a good time. It was a really good time. Like he's really um, oral. He's really into kissing and going down on me and obviously like hickeys and stuff um he doesn't like i don't know i've noticed this thing with like if he he like likes to hold me really close and if i pull away even a little bit just to like catch my breath or something he gets this like insecure like starts pulling me a little bit closer and like so mommy issues is what i'm getting at <laughs> i got daddy issues he's got mommy issues but whatever. Um, and then I also was a guy that I used to hook up with a lot. He met with me and I um, he gave me twenty five dollars for you know hanging out with him. I, like I can't say too much on YouTube, but um, and then I've been making pretty good money on DoorDash finally. Like day, the days are hit or miss. And then with my car. Um, I'm riding on the donut still, but today, once the tire shop opens here in a few minutes, I'm gonna go get my tire replaced, and then hopefully I'll have enough money to get an alignment done today, 
because that's just how much money I've been making, which is good, because I figured that would take me a couple of days to get together, but if I can get that done, that'll be good, and then I called Capital One, and they said that they can put me, they can change, like, I keep calling them every time, I'm like, I can't make the payment today, can we do something, and they're like, sure, and then it got to this point where it's like, I called in, and they're like, if this gets modified, or if you call in, or if this doesn't go through, or anything like that, it'll be sent to repossession, I'm like, okay, so I called, um, a few days before it was due and I told them look I don't have the funds for this it's not going to come out of my account and I'm like okay we'll cancel the payment plan call back on Friday and resecure the loan and I'm like okay and I'm like but we can't promise you anything you just have to call in on Friday so I'm like okay so I called in um and they were like yeah we can do that they were, well they asked they were like so why were you not able to make the payment and I told them I said well I had to go to the hospital for a few days and then when I got out I had to get brakes and tires and the reason I had to get brakes and tires is because I do DoorDash. That's how I make my money. I wouldn't be able to be working and making money if I didn't have my car running. And he's like, I completely understand that. And then he's like, let me set you up a um, payment plan, what day works for you, and like the furthest you can get it out. So he told me, and I'm like, great. So I got that. Um, as long as I can keep making good amount of money on DoorDash and nothing unexpected happens with my car... Everything should go pretty well. I got to take a shower last night. Two showers, actually. And then... So that's great. Because I haven't showered in, like... Over a week. If not longer. Probably the last time I went to the hospital. Or the last time I hung out with my boyfriend. I can't remember which one was the most recent ex-boyfriend at this point. But... Um... I think it was when I went to the hospital last time I took a shower. Like I said, I don't remember how long ago that was. That was before... I think that was before I went to Missouri. Yeah. Because I got out of the hospital and I was like, I'm going to go to Missouri and get marijuana. And then I did. And, I, and then I came back and I was like, I'm going to take a shower at Love's. And then I never did. Which was good because if I would have taken a shower at Love's then I wouldn't have had enough money to get the tire replaced that I got replaced and I wouldn't be running right now. I wouldn't be on the, I wouldn't be able to work or anything. So I was able to get that taken care of. And then now I'll get the other tire taken care of so I'm not riding on the donut anymore and I can actually drive on the interstate and I don't have to worry about wearing out my donut and, you know, anything bad happening and then once I get my car aligned, then I won't have to worry about my other tires getting messed up as much. Hopefully they're they're doing okay. I'm, I mean, I'm not sure if they're doing okay or not, but I um, also need an oil change, which is like $40. So if this DoorDash thing, if I keep making good money on DoorDash and if I can keep getting guys to help me out, I guess, I don't know. Like, it's so shitty that I can't just, like, openly talk about it. I have to speak in code and stuff. I made a video on TikTok about it, and someone was like, What are you even talking about? I'm like, report for being a child. That's what I do to TikTokers. I'm like, if you say something childish, I don't care if I go to your page and you look like an adult. I'm going to report you as a child because... Then you have to go through the process of proving that you're an adult. And a lot of people, especially people who are, like, trolls and stuff, they're pretty lazy. They're not going to, like, try to prove it. They'll just let the account get taken off and then make a new one or something. But, yeah. It gets old, people fucking with me on TikTok. And because you got the, you got the little kids and then you got the boomers. So I'm like, I'll make a video talking about how Gen Z is fucking annoying. And then I'll have all these little Gen Z ears in my comments being annoying. And I'm like, fuck off. You know what I mean? But, um... I've just been watching Jordy's videos about Amber and Eugenia. And, um, I mean, I don't know really, like, much else to say, except for, like, I think overall I've been doing pretty good. Like I said, okay, we can talk about last night. We can talk about how it was, how how it went, and 
not sure what words I can use or not use, but, um, it was this, this like, it was strange. It was like, I don't know. I have all of these emotions when I'm having sex, right? Because, I mean, I've been sexually abused my entire childhood. So, a lot of times, like, I'll just get these, like, deep sadness. And he wanted me, like, face up the whole time. So, there was times, like, we would be looking at each other and I would go from, like, pleasure and feeling good and everything to, like, deep sadness. And he almost, like, he actually started crying at one point. And, um... It was just, I don't know. But it was good. It was a release. It was a, an emotional release. And I was cognizant of this is what's happening. This is the trauma. When before I never knew, I would just try to hide it. And I would be ashamed of it. Because I didn't want them to feel bad. And I didn't want to have to explain myself. Like, especially when I didn't know I was being raped. I didn't want to be cornered and be asked, why Why were you so sad? Why were you crying? Why did you look sad? Why are you upset? Did I hurt you? What's wrong? Are you mad at me? Or you? Or did I do something wrong? You know, and instead of having to go through all that, I would just like try to not face them. And, um, but he, he never said anything, thankfully. And it ended up being good. Um, so big I had to keep asking him to stop because it was like going in so deep like I was like oh my god he's gonna break my cervix especially like when he was getting close to come it was like I'm not even sure if I can say that we'll see we'll see if this if this video gets taken off like we'll, we'll know the, the the limits um that's how I figure out what rules are like I don't read the manual I just do stuff and f I just fuck around and find out and then the, that's how I do stuff all the time but they get you in a lot of trouble too, so. Um, a lot of times when it gets to that point, I'm like, do you want to switch to anal? But first of all, I hadn't like cleaned the interior and I'm just like, he, I don't know. He preferred it vaginal. <laughs> so went with that and then. It just, yeah, it feels like I, I released at least some of the trauma. Obviously not all of it. Like, that'll never, all, like, all of it will never go away. But, like, I feel like maybe 0.5% of it I was able to let go of, which is good. Because it's cathartic, you know? Even though, like, overall, I'm not, like, better right now. I'm in the afterglow, so it's good. Anyways, that's it. This video is cringe. Catch you next time.